So guys, this is TG Fighting Analyst and I'm back with another Now Who Wins. Uh, yeah, so this is UFC uh, 294, um, Islam Mahashev versus Alexander Volkanovsky 2. And uh, <coughs> on the co-main event, we have Kamar Usman versus Hamza Jamayev. All right, so we're going to get into this prediction video, everybody. We're going to predict both fights. <coughs> main and co-main so this is a very very good card everybody um you know we have a good card coming up on this here very very this week as well this weekend and uh, i can't wait for it so i'm gonna do the main event and the co-main event so we're gonna start with the islam magachev versus alexander volkanovsky so we're gonna start with islam magachev i'm gonna go run, just run around through his career so islam magachev everybody <coughs> you know he was a good grappler good wrestler tremendous wrestler you know um you know habib obviously trains islam and you know where he got him this far is just absolutely crazy and now he's you know he's the champion of lightweight and um you know he just dominated you know charles Oliveira in in, in dominant fashion uh, it's just crazy how islam beat him and also i uh, did beat alexander volkanovsky <clears throat> by a razor 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 close decision and it was a close fight everybody i thought um you know it's very very it's a very very controversial decision it kind of went either way to be honest with you um you know islam Agachev, everybody he has the only one loss to can't remember it was some brazilian knocked him out i believe <clears throat> it was a good while ago it was quite years ago it was near the start of his um ufc career uh, because he, you know, joined UFC career, uh, you know, joined the UFC and uh, got off a couple of wins. But then he, yes, he did get knocked out <coughs> and stopped by the referee. Uh, that only that one time, and that was his, that only one loss that Islam Makachev has. Um, so yes, that's Islam Makachev. Everybody just run through around the career of him. Um, you know, he's he's been dominating since he became champion. Everybody and now. He also had some notable wins in uh, Armats, Rukian, and also uh, Bobby Green. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he had some impressive wins, everybody. <clears throat> That's Islam Magachev. So, we're going to go on to Alexander Volkanovsky. So, Alexander Volkanovsky, everybody, <clears throat> he's an ex, uh, or uh, he was basically a former rugby player. Uh, he used to be a former, uh, used to be an actual rugby player. And I think he did play the to uh, the uh, national i think he used to play national rugby for australia i'm not entirely sure but um you know alexander volkanovsky he's beaten max holloway three times um you know it's just quite crazy how he beat him uh three times he's like one of the most dominant featherweight champions in the ufc history you know he's like one of them he's up there with max he's actually better than max but max would be still one of the best I'd still would be he be still considered as one of the best featherweights in history, and um you know that's not gonna ruin his you know his um his legacy because Max Holloway is is still very very much good and he's still on a good winning streak. It's not like you know his career falling off because of his losses. You know what I mean? But um, two best featherweights for sure, and um you know Alexander Vol <coughs> Volkanovski, everybody. He has some impressive wins, you know, other wins as well. There's Jose Aldo. I remember he did be Aldo, but that's not the Aldo that we usually do see. Um, and he bet some other very, very good fighters, everybody. He destroyed Brian Ortega. I remember he absolutely mauled him. Um, he literally just, <coughs> he just destroyed him. He, he completely demolished him. And uh, he beat the uh, Korean Zombie as well. <coughs> I think he did be, did he beat the, uh, I don't think he, I don't think they fought. Did they fought? I think so. I think they did. I think they did. I might be wrong on that. But anyway, you know, Alexander Volkanovsky, everybody, very, very good career. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, he's a very, very tremendous good wrestler. He's all very, very good all around. His It's basically a striking is very, very, you know, very, very uh, good. Uh, he basically outboxed Max Holloway. And he made just look Max. He made Max Holloway look terrible. I remember, especially the third fight. <coughs> that third fight, he <coughs> dominated, and um, you know Volkanovski, very very good fighter, everybody. So 
I'm going to do my prediction. Um, but so I'm going to do my uh, breakdown and prediction. So my breakdown in this fight, everybody, this is going to be a very, very interesting one, I think. So basically, um, I think the way this is going to play out, I think it might be similar than the, um, than the first fight. Well, I don't know if it's similar because now, you know, Max Hall, or not Max Hall, what am I saying? Alexander Volkanovsky is his coming this, in this fight short notice. Uh, you know, he's uh, his replacement from um, Charles Oliveira. And uh, I do respect him for this. Uh, this is just absolutely amazing. And Usman as well. Kamara Usman, uh, he's a short replacement as well. Uh, Paulo Costa. Um, absolutely crazy for uh, Alex uh, Alexander Volkanovsky, you know, to take this fight at short notice. And, uh, you know, and he's going to come in here. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same same fight as the first fight but i think it's going to be very very similar maybe um i honestly think though that you know islam makashev is going to have a very very um you know significant advantage in this fight when it comes to uh being proper yeah preparation uh from this fight because you know it's not short notice and uh, he's been training this whole time. And Alexander Volkanovsky has. But I don't think he's been putting that in that really hard training for this fight. Because it's been, you know, it's, it's a short notice replacement. Um, you know, and uh, I don't know if he's going to take it as seriously as he did in the first fight. But he's going to have to. I know it's short, a short notice replacement. He's going to have to. He's going to actually have to uh, do something uh, better or maybe even win this fight or it you know just do better than last time because last time was a very very close fight very good performance for alexander volkanovsky did his best but unfortunately he just came on the wrong end of the decision you know um so yeah like very very great fight everybody you know islam makashev um <clears throat> so i'm gonna do my prediction so my breakdown of this fight i think everybody is literally round one is it going to be a strike and battle? I think it's going to be a stand-up fight. I think they're going to, you know, show us, show them skills and stand-up. And I think it will go to the ground eventually. Uh, when it comes to round two, I believe that, you know, Islam Makachev will take down Volkanovski um, a good couple of times. And I think he will grapple him and he hold him, you know, and he hold him there. Um, and I think, you know, in the third, when it comes to the third and fourth, I believe that Volkanovski, you know, he might, you know, try to get out of the position of grappling. But I honestly think that Islam Makachev is going to hold him down uh, the entire fight. I think he really is going to outgrapple Alexander Volkanovsky and it's just going to outwork him. Uh, I, I know this might sound crazy, everybody, all you Volks fans out there. Um, I like Vol uh, Volkanovsky. I really, really do like Volkanovsky. But unfortunately, everybody, I'm going to have to give this to Islam Makachev by fourth round submission i know that might sound absolutely crazy but it's going to be a fourth round submission <clears throat> i know not knockout no tko no decision submission um fourth round submission everybody islam makachev and uh we see what happens all right now we're going to go on to the komi event so this is going to be kamar usman versus hamzat jamayev a very very good fight everybody so you know kamar usman he's been a dominant champion for a good while and uh, he's been, you know, he beat the likes of Tyron Woodley. He beat Kobe Covington twice. He beat Jorge Masvidal twice. You know, he had a good run, a good UFC run, everybody. Good title defenses as well. He had an unbelievable run in the UFC. And, uh, you know, Kamara Usman has been a dominant champion. I don't know if he's past his best. He might be his past his best. Now he's 36. Coming 36? I think he's coming 36, yeah. So, <clears throat> very, 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 very good fighter Kamar Usman just trying to speed this up everybody so we're going to go on to Hamza Jamayev so Hamza Jamayev everybody you know Hamza Jamayev is a good fighter also he uh you know he beat the likes of um uh this uh this guy I can't remember he's some like Welsh dude uh in his debut he I remember he did in his first two couple of fights he just fought in that same month and once he fought in the same month it was unbelievable and then he beat, yes, he did beat uh, Gilbert Burns by a close, close fight. Um, and he also did beat, and he also did beat Kevin Holland as well. So, you know, <clears throat> he had a good career, everybody, so far. You know, it's going to be a good fight, I think. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do my breakdown and prediction in this fight. So, basically, you know, round one, round one I think it's going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, a stand-up battle. I think the... 
maybe <coughs> Hamza Jemayev would be, you know, probably trying to probably take him down maybe halfway through the first round. And, uh, you know, Kamar Usman, you know, uh, he might stuff some takedowns. He might even, he might, might not even. Um, you know, Hamza Jemayev, you know, very, very, very uh, good wrestler. Um, and he, I think, to be honest with you, you know, Kamar Usman, you know, his takedown defense, though, recently, I think Leon Edwards, did Leon Edwards take him down? I think he did. I think he did. I don't know if Leon Edwards actually did take him down, but Leon Edwards, bro, that second fight, man. Oh, my God. Uh, the way he beat Kamar Usman was absolutely crazy. I know he knocked him out the first fight, but the way he did it and was able to win by decision in the second fight was just nothing short, but just unbelievable. Um, you know, coming in this fight, everybody, you know, you could say that maybe Kamar Usman is washed as me as a fan. I'm a big fan of Kamar Usman. Um, I just don't think he's the same anymore. I really, really, really don't think he is. Um, I don't know, everybody. Um, I really see. I really hope I'm wrong here. I really hope I'm wrong with these picks and these predictions, because you know I'm not really a fan of Islam uh, or Jamaif. You know, I'm just not a fan of these type of styles. Uh, it's just I just don't particularly like them. You know, and I follow them. I know their careers and stuff like that. It's just I just do not like them. I just you know I do it for knowledge and I follow them for knowledge. Um, but I just don't particularly like their styles and stuff. But you know, um, yeah, everybody, uh, I really, really, really not going to like this prediction when, it, when you're only going to hear it, but, um, so I'm going to give this fight, everybody, by Hamzat, by, hmm, third round submission, yeah, I'm going to give this Hamzat to my up a third round submission, everybody, uh, I might be wrong on this one, I might be completely and utterly wrong with this one if I am. Oh, I hope I am. Uh, I will see it on the night, everybody. You know what I mean? We we'll see it on the night. And uh, yeah, so Hamza Jemaya versus Alexander Volkanovsky. I got, again, I got Islam Makachev by third round or fourth round submission. And I got Hamza Jemaya by third round submission, everybody. Hope I'm wrong. Hope I'm wrong. But it is what it is. I'll see you on the night. All right, guys. Hope it's it, guys. I'm peace. And see you on the next video.